That's why it's so important that these uh, ceremonies are conducted so that it is very convincing to them to understand that yes, indeed I am gone. That's very important. That's why you have to do all the ceremonies. Once that is done, there's, a, there's anxiety, there's fear, there's a certain amount of sadness. Soon they will start hearing divine music, very, very beautiful music which you cannot hear on earth. And you will see a lot of divine beings, especially a lot of people who happen to be your relatives, your friends who had gone away earlier. They will be there. And then you move out on a journey which by our earth's time could be about 10 days. And en route you visit several other lokas, what we call lokas. There are about 21 of them. And there you might have to settle my accounts with some people. So once that is done, at the end of the 10th day normally, there is a life review. That's why the Hindu ceremonies are so structured that it will coincide with the life review. And what the ceremonies are telling is, you are now going to meet the Lord, you are now going to meet the light, ask Him for Mukti. Because during the life review, whatever you ask for is granted. That's the secret. And without forgetting, they will say, now Bhagavan, now, oh great Lord, whatever it is, please give us uh, Moksha. And then instantly, it is given, you would be reviewing your own life in their presence, and you would pass judgment on yourself. Like you have been judging people here. That's why we tell you, please do not judge. The way you judge others, you will be judging yourself. Generally, you tend to be harsh on people. The same harshness you would use on yourself. And then you could begin your journey to heaven or to hell. This, in short, is your life. You could go to other lokas also.